sorry, I had to go get my camera. Left it my study. We'll take y'all along with me to get the camera set, right? We'll take y'all along with me to the woods. Blow the trunk this morning. It's not as cold as it was yesterday morning. It's down in the 20s here yesterday morning. Alright, so we are backing out. We've got, uh, what we're working at, it's not that far north of us, but it takes about 40, 40 minute drive or so to get up there where we're at. So we're going to ride now. I've got, there's, well, three main ways I could go to get up here. I'm going to go the, not the shortest route this morning, because the shortest route's not necessarily the best route, because the roads are so bad, rough, and curvy, and all. I'm going to stay four lane this morning. Oh, yeah. So let's ride, Clyde. So we're here. Here the truck's running. I'll crawl up in my loader. Go up. cranked up get the printer going here my ipad open and i'll start printing some tickets and then start loading drugs let's see here i think it's ready let's see if it's ready or not yes Next one too while I'm at it. Kevin and Derek just got here. Here. Yeah, they should be enough for one more load laying there. We got a yesterday we were broke down. Uh, Derek's tree cutter went down, and it was a uh, bad line, longest line we've ever replaced. It was uh, 23 feet long, uh, just a quarter inch line. Though. It didn't have, it didn't initially end up starting out 23 feet long, but the way that we routed it back, because they had it going through the uh, the main frame of the machine, and we couldn't even pull the other one out. It's got like uh, webbing gussets inside the, what I call the truck body of the of the frame of the machine, and and the line hung in there. Uh, we couldn't move it either way. We ended up just having to, we, we rerouted the line completely. And when we rerouted it where it wouldn't be the, the way that it was, like kind of was weird. But then yeah, it ended up, uh, once we measured it out and got it situated, it was uh, 23 feet long. Yeah, it'll work, man. Let me drop their tickets down. Y'all finna swing out a little bit. Then you come 
get his tickets there and give them to everybody else and then we're gonna go to uh, loading. Take it long to warm up though. It, it uh just a few minutes for the oil to get warm. So all of this wood here will be going to a lumber mill, and they'll make the dimensional lumber out of it. Two for six, two for eight stuff like that you know and some uh two by fours too but primarily wider lumber it's about uh three three and a half hours or so uh, round trip from here to the mill these trucks are running We can make, uh, we generally can get three loads out of them. Well, I'll run two loads of this right here and then I'll run a short load on the, on the last one. I say short, it's kind of in town there a little bit. So I can tell the oil's already starting to uh, warm and flow better now. sense because I'd have to grab it and slide it up anyhow to bunch it with another one to go up on there so he only needs one. Grab this one that'll keep me having to slide and re-grab all that good stuff like that. So he's loaded. Right. He'll pull out next truck will back right in I'll throw a load on him and then the so the other truck's sitting right there already. He'll back in real quick and when he backs in the next truck up that's sitting up the road, he'll come down there and he'll sit where that maroon truck is. And then the next truck will come down, they'll just they'll just keep you know doing that till I get them all loaded. So he just makes a loop right here in front of me. And 
I take hold my grapple here where I want him at. Where I, where I want him to center up his trailer. There. So I give him a guide to, guide to go by. Like that truck there, he can just look at the other truck's tracks and back into those same tracks. Sometimes I move around a little bit. So I'll throw my grapple out there to get on something to, uh, to go by. And most of the time they back right under where I got it centered up. So he's centered right there on it. I just move it up out of the way when he come on back. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes they don't. I'll look up and they'll be way over under somewhere or about to hit me over here. All right, right there. And so I repeat the process. I grab me up. Wide up. Go up on the truck. And roll with it. Stop the camera and get all the rest of the trucks loaded. And enjoy the morning. Derek just fired up down there. I see all the white smoke coming out of that 830. Oh, so to go back talking about the line before I cut off, that was it was a uh, brake release line, the quarter inch line that goes down to the uh, final drives on the track drive motors. You have to have when you let off those pedals the uh to release the brakes it takes pressure it takes pressure to release the brakes on that thing the way it works is every time you let off the pedal on that machine your tracking pedal the brakes engage on it and when you're when you're tracking there's pressure going down to it and that was one of the quarter inch lines that, that busted yesterday it actually rubbed inside that frame in there and there was no way that we could see or know that it was doing it because i mean it's like the the it's just a daggone cavity up in there so anyway we're gonna roll the 2500 on this load these two should get him here and then the next truck's already sitting over there so he loaded he'll pull out next one will loop around back right in you see the sun coming up over the trees over there now it's lighting everything up pretty good all these trucks here are ours too. These are all uh, Peterbilts with uh, Caterpillars in them. That the two maroon trucks are both 2017 models. They were uh, gliders, meaning that we bought them new without engine and transmission. And we put engines and transmissions out of two of our other older trucks into those trucks. And that's the reason why they're called gliders. This one right here back in the end is a 05 model with a caterpillar in all of them. Every truck we got has got a caterpillar in them. All right, right there. The cat engines do, have done very, very well for us. Over the years, 